guys, welcome back to my reading channel. And today I'll be reading Santa's Underwear, book number 27. Since getting near Christmas, I will be reading Santa's Underwear. Santa's Underwear. It was Christmas Eve and time to get ready. Santa shined his belt buckle and polished his best black boots. He ate a healthy dinner to give him energy for the busy night ahead. As Santa munched on his whole wheat bread, visions of delicious sweets danced in his head. Tonight, children would leave tasty treats like their Christmas tree just for him. He brushed his teeth and then scrub a dub dubbed in the tub. After blow drying his hair, Santa combed his silky beard until it shined like the new fallen snow. Wrapped in his favorite robe, he admired how jolly he looked in the mirror. The hour had come to put on his special Christmas clothes. Santa pulled open the underwear drawer in his dresser. He poked around. Where were his long, red, woolly undies? Even though they were old, faded, and saggy, he always wore them under a suit on this special night. They kept them warm as the sleigh soared across the starry, wintry skies. Santa looked through the rest of the drawers, checked the dirty clothes hamper, and peeked under the bed. But all he found there was one white sock, a dusty rubber reindeer toy, and two sticky candy canes. No red undies, Santa sighed. I guess this year I'll have to wear something else. He tried on the pink boxers and t-shirt Mrs. Claus had given him last Valentine's Day. Too many hearts and cutesy cupids, he said. Then he buttoned up the green long johns he wore every St. Patrick's Day. These shamrocks aren't Christmassy at all. His Easter briefs covered in pictures of dancing jelly beans made Santa ask, what was I thinking? The tidy whities and undershirt he bought for Thanksgiving were now a little too tidy and uncomfortable. Well, he did eat a lot of pumpkin pie that day. His boring regular underwear just wasn't right for tonight. What was he to do? Wear no underwear at all on Christmas Eve? That certainly would make him shiver and quiver out in the cold. Brrr! Santa threw up his hands in despair. The clock was ticking. Children all over the world ex were expecting their presents. There was no time to waste. He would just have to wear those silly shamrock lawn jobs. At least they were green and warm. Santa sighed as he opened the closet door to get his Santa suit. And there, on a hanger, right in front of him, tied with a bow, were brand new Christmas undies. They were just like his old ones, but not saggy. Their color was almost as bright as Rudolph's nose. A card tied to the front read, Dear Santa, use this woolly gift tonight. 
Last Christmas, we couldn't help but notice that you really needed some new undies. Warm wishes, Rudolph and the Ranger Crew. Ho, ho, ho! Dick out in holiday red, Santa admired how twinkly his eyes looked in the mirror. When he finished dressing, plopped on his hat and raced out the door. As Santa hopped into his sleigh and rose out of sight, you could hear him exclaim, "Thank you, Rudolph, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, and Vixen! Thanks to you, Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen! Now let's get the show on the road. We've got a job to do. Merry Christmas to you!" I hope you guys enjoy this podcast. See you in the next one.